Party Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest Chapter 82 and man the Queen is mad. Queen Selene is pissed and the moon has gotten bigger with it. I can't wait to see her go all out. I don't think she, but that's the question though, is she gonna really go balls to the walls all out or is she gonna go like 50-75% um, of her power? We'll have to wait and see in, um, in that regard. But now it's going to be Grey and Lucy time. I'm very excited because something I've been wanting for Grey for the longest time is to see if we're going to get some, like, ice god slaying magic, which is, would be so appropriate. Please give me ice god slaying magic. Just give it to me, god damn it. Um, in regards to Lucy, I just think back to that conversation with Capricorn. And Capricorn was talking about how Lucy has all this potential. And... I feel like this is going to be the time where she, you know, achieves it. She gets that potential. And it makes me wonder if there might not be a need for the spirit keys anymore. She might not need the keys because she'll be that powerful. And maybe what we saw um, just a few chapters ago was some foreshadowing to that. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us today. So this chapter is titled Revenge Match. The cutting blade has been brandished. Oh my god, if this is a foreshadowing of Brandish showing up, I will lose my shit. But uh, I, I doubt it. But I would love to see Brandish show up here. Oh my god, if Brandish somehow shows up, oh my god, that would be fucking hilarious. Earthland, the town of Ar um, Armina. Oh my god. No way, no way! Just calm down for a bit. There's no way I can calm down. The great water god should be able to use his powers and yet the storm's surging. What is happening? Mirasama, could it be your uh, powers the water, uh, water dragon goddess? No, this isn't my power. It's Selene, yeah. The moon dragon god, I was sure she was in a different world. Yeah, she is. So her power is reaching this world from another one? Such is the power of a dragon they call a god. Most of my power was lost while, um, while Alderaan did not awaken completely and wasn't at his original power. But Selene is different. She is a dragon god with her original power intact! Oh shit! Dude, this is gonna be insane! Oh my god. But what scares me even more is that I don't know what her goal is. That's a great question. What is her goal? What is her goal? Because we don't know. We know that she had to be um, hit. She had to been hit with the Anima Project. She had to been hit with that shit. So what did that do to her? What did that do? And then we got the question um, about we still have... Um, Ignea, Ignea's power's gotta be fully intact, right? Dude, if we find out that Ignea is not at full power, holy shit, if Ignea is not at full power, oh my god, dude, I really hope that is the case that Ign please tell me Ignea is not even at full power. If Ignea is not at full fucking power, I will lose my freaking shit. I know we didn't get a, obviously we did not get a full taste of Ignea when we were up again, when, you know, Natsu uh, met him, when we came across him. But, no, like, I'm talking about maybe, oh man, I really hope that this is the case. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because remember, Ignea is the final, final dragon that we're facing. And if Selene is weaker than Ignea... Holy shit! Holy shit! I am so excited about this! Oh my god! Oh my god! I really hope that this is the case! I know we got, like, one more dragon before we get to Ignea. And that is going to be fucking amazing. Let's be real. Oh my god, we got at least- Oh my god. Oh my god. God, one more, oh my god, dude, Ignea's, oh my god, oh my god, dude, Ignea's going to be fucking amazing, that fight is just gonna be fucking beast, oh 
holy shit. But I will say this in regards to Alderaan. It makes a lot of sense. It actually makes a lot more sense why the fight against Morphobia and the fight against Alderaan wasn't, like, even though Alderaan's fight was long, let's be real. That arc was fucking long. But it kind of makes sense why, though. It does. Because Morphobia wasn't fully awakened. And neither was- and Alderaan wasn't either! Oh my god. Oh shit, this- DUDE! Man, I have high expectations for the rest- Dude, I already had high expectations for this manga. But man, the rest of this manga, holy shit. Holy shit, there is even higher expectations. Especially, um, with what we're get- Oh, with what we get in a Lintier- Oh my god, with the shit we're getting in a Lintier, this power-up that we're getting in a Lintier, man, that this power-up is extremely significant. Holy shit, this is a turning point up in this manga. It really goddamn is. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Mm. The other world of Lintier, Black Moon Mountain. That moon, mm. Here's Celine. You made Celine mad. Ooh, Celine mad. The moon wanes like a swift wind. Moonlight blade. All right, let's take a look at this shit. Woo! Such speed, dude. You really pissed her off. What the fuck do you want from her? She mad, and she was she wasn't fighting you seriously. Now you fighting her seriously. I don't even think, again, I do not think she's using full power. No way Celine using full power on you. No way. She, at most, I think she using 50%. I could be wrong, but I'm curious what you guys think. But damn, Celine looks fine. Dude, yeah, yeah. Impossible. I avoid, dude, you are not going to beat Celine. You're not. I avoided in time. Oof. Dance, human! Dance madly to the moon's magic power! Dance, bitch! Dance! Kronugi style, a uh, sword drawing art! Underworld cycle- Nah! Nah, 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 nah! You can try all you want, bitch! You can try all you want! You are not going to beat the goddess! You are not going to beat the queen right now! Nah! Nah! Moonlight- Woo! Moonlight palm! Oh, this looks so much better. This this looks better. Thank God. Thank God, Atsuo. This art looks better. Looks so much better. And it makes me believe the art from last chapter was to show that um, Celine was half-assing it. I will take it. It's kind of, again, this is like what I said uh, last chapter. It's kind of like the Nakaba, what Nakaba did um, when we have that shitty-ass fire art. God, that fire magic was awful. Formidable, you were the, uh, formidable, you were the strong moon dragon god? The flash of your sword, it takes me back, actually. It's as if I'm fighting Kurnugi himself. However, this next attack will end this. Destroy that bitch, Celine! I can't believe I'm rooting for Celine like this, but motherfucker, like, I, I want to see if Celine whoops some ass. Celine does not deserve to go down right now. Uh-uh. Because she ain't even in full power. Nah. She not in full power yet. Nah. Like Celine Sama's bank like Celine Sama's banquet, we expect to have a good time. Let's rid ourselves of them all at once. I think I know what Celine wants to do. I think I understand her agenda like somewhat understand our agenda. And I'm gonna oh god. And I've kind of said it throughout like you know, these past few, uh, these past few weeks or, th or slash throughout this arc, I'm going to wait until the end of this chapter because I kind of have an idea of what it is. Let's rid ourselves of them all at once. Looks like this is a revenge. No shit, this is a revenge match. Looks like this is a revenge match. Fairy Tail doesn't lose to the same guys twice, you know. Mm hmm Let's go, Lucy. Yeah. Um, I can't let my, uh, hands off of Natsu and Urza while I'm healing them. I'm counting on you. 
Yes, thank God. Thank God. We ain't getting Wendy time up in here. This is all Lucy and Gray. Grand White Priest is this way. Huh? Even though the hunk is <laughs> even though the hunk is bowing. Thirsty. Thirsty, this priestess is. Just do as you're told and stay out of the way. Carla Sama doesn't go um doesn't go easy, uh, even on those in position and power, does she? Right? Oh, Carla, don't like that shit. Now then, will you please freeze once more? This time you're the one who's gonna freeze. Yeah. Listen, dude, Lucy, that kick ain't gonna work. <laughs> what did you say? That won't work. <laughs> Since I said that. Leo form, regular. That's not gonna work. Regular Lucy kick. That won't. Whoa, it's bright. It's bright. Dude, it's bright, but yeah, it ain't gonna. This is a solar flare kick. That's what that shit was. Gemini, free, free. Double Lucy kick. Woohoo! Wait, is Kimmy the only technique in your repertoire? Um, and aren't you just putting your own name in your attacks? How plain. No, perhaps. Mimi kick. <laughs> Mimi, that was fucking funny. Lucy. I'm fine. No, you're not. To Mimi Hurricane. I'm not the one to Mimi. Mimi, you fucking bitch. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi, you are winning right now. You are winning in this chapter. Oh, this. All right, odds of all, I'll give you this. That hurricane is looking nice, though. That looks like wind. That looks like a hurricane. Giving me wind. Virgo form. She, she just a spike on Lucy Punch. Ha! <laughs> you know punches too. <laughs> you know punches too. Ha <laughs> ha! shit. What is this? A foul the spe uh, the special sparkles right now. Oh my god. Your movement is different from before. What could have possibly happened in such a short time? It's because... <gasps> yes! It's because I got to see a very important friend again. You might have noticed before. I'm me. Even if I'm weak, I won because everyone was with me. Is, is that how she sees herself? Maybe she... <laughs> Yes, that is cheap. Yes, you can make the argument that is not some knockup and power shit. But this is knockup and power done right. Okay? This is knockup and power done right. And the thing is that makes this great and why this is knockup and power done right is because of that moment with Aquarius and, you know, her and the memories and all that. And her remembering everything and remembering what's important and shit. And have it, and you know, her transformations, her, you know, dress transformations represent everyone with her. But here's where, what I think Celine trying to do. One, I think Celine trying to get, in a way, I think Celine trying to prepare everyone. Uh, uh, well, story wise, that's what Celine trying to do is prepare everyone for what's to come. But I think Celine preparing them to go after the true enemy which is, is the white priestess. I think the white, and I've been saying this, and I'll put my tinfoil hat on this, the grand white priestess, to me, is the real villain of this bitch. They, she is. She's the true villain. If, if she's not the true villain of, the, of uh, this entire manga, she is at least the true villain of this arc. Because she is causing a lot of problems. She's the, if she's not the one behind the anime project, um, if uh, she's not the one doing this, then... She is pulling the puppet strings, and or she has someone that's um, working with her doing this. The reason why I'm saying that she's got to be the one behind this is because you have the whole thing with White, and I still and hold on, I got to mention this too. I still have that feeling about you know the head of um, of the White from Earthland. I still think he's here, or he's going he's going to play a role in this. I believe it. I believe he's going to play a role up in this bitch. 
He's got to. If he doesn't, I will be so surprised by this. I really want to see him play a role up in here. Um, because of what was said about what a Lentier is supposed to be. So, and finding out what, um, eventually finding out what was going down in a Lentier. Like, with the Anima project, it's just, it just feels like that's what's supposed to be going down. Um, then there's, um, I, I, I really think Celine is, again, low-key training them. I think she's been training them the whole time, uh, to get them ready for the true enemy, which is, again, the White Priestess. And get, and she wants them to destroy the real cause of the problem, which is that fucking Anima project. Because we know what they want to do. We, they, we know what the, their goal is is to, like, destroy the fucking worlds. That's what's going on. But Celine don't look like she do- Celine got plans. She got plans. She being a sneaky bitch. She is. I know- I know if she doing this shit. And the- uh, I just feel like- it, Then you got this whole thing with, um, then you gotta wonder, okay, then why- Why is she- Worked so hard in particular to focus on um, on Lucy and um, and Grace so much. Why? Why them? Well, and to an extent, to an extent, maybe not to, but the rest of them too. We'll have to wait and see what's gonna go down with like Natsu um, and Wendy and Urza, because there's. I think, I think Wendy and Urza already had their training moments, and that was near the beginning of, um, the Alintir stuff. I think they're basically done. I think there could be more for Urza and, and Urza, but I think it's almost there for Urza. Natsu, there's gonna be something else. There's gotta be something else for Natsu up in here. There's going to be. But... For Lucy, there's the obvious connection about, you know, the moon and the stars. So, there's got to be, there's going to probably be something very interesting combination-wise with, um, with the moon, obviously, Celine, and the celestial, um, celestial spirits. And she needs, she needs Lucy to be at her fucking full potential in order to defeat the white. See? I understand that shit. But again, going back to why the White Priestess is evil, remember that fungus, that, or, you know, that nail dirt we saw that was attacking the Whiteout Village. We found out why that nail, or not fungus, I'm sorry, that nail dirt. We found out they were, that that was their whole purpose was to eliminate toxins and poisons and all that shit. Yeah! We know they're after you, white out, white out priestess. We know, we know they're after you, grand priestess, because you're the villain up in this bitch. But yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see how this goes down with with Lucy. I feel like the whole thing is to get the you know the king of the um, celestial realm out. I feel like that's what Celine wants, is to get the King of the Celestial Realm out. Um, to get him summoned to help Celine to, uh, to destroy the Anima Project. I feel like, just part of me feels like that's her endgame, is to get him out, use Lucy to get him out to stop these motherfuckers. I just, or something. It just, I feel like she, that's what part of her game is, or her end goal is, um, in defeating them. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, and so especially in terms of Lucy. Lucy, she needs, period. She does because of, you know, the theme of moon and stars. But what about Grey, though? Where does Grey fit in all of this? With Grey, and also to an extent with, um, with Wendy as well, remember, we're talking about the spiritual energy. And Wendy is able to use that spiritual energy already. Like, kind of use that spiritual energy already. So, 
Gray, it's going to be interesting to see what we get with Gray, with the gods, if we get the Ice God Slayer um, technique, which I swear we need to get fucking get already. Ugh! We need to get it. But it would fit in, where it would fit in in the grand scheme of things, if we're going to go theme-wise, it would fit with the coldness of space. So, yeah, you'd have, um, you'd have the moon, the stars, and the ice. Call it space. But I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you guys, um, agree with me, uh, and see what I see in terms of Celine's grand scheme? Um, and do you, uh, especially in terms of where Lucy fits in? The main thing that really got me, and I said this at the beginning, is what that uh, conversation between Capricorn and and Mimi, when Capricorn and uh, when Mimi was um, saying to Capricorn that you know you could be a lot stronger um, if you've had the right you know user, and Capricorn's like, I, I know my girl got uh, got potential. She got all that potential up in her. I'm telling you, Celine, Celine needs that shit. But the key thing is, is, is it just for the celestial spirits or is it for, you know, the celestial king? I really think she wants the celestial king and I've been thinking it for a while now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more fairy tale content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.